Tucson, Arizona. TJ, you're on the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Yes, sir. I'm responding to um, the comments Sally Fields made about if women were ruling things, this world would be better and there wouldn't be any wars. My contention that if women were ruling things, this world would be far worse than what it is. And I cite the examples is the... Um, the dating habits of women. There are a lot of men joining the Bloods and the Crips uh, to get girls. Uh, a lot of times if I, that I've been picked on or harassed or whatever by men, it was because they were trying to get the, um, the sexual favors of other women. Uh, it was a woman... You're saying, wait, wait, you're saying that men fight with each other because of women to show that they're more dominant? And I'm also saying that because women are responsive to that, by virtue of that, they encourage violence in men. Some women do. I would say that is true. There's actually a biological you know, imperative in the sense that the women want the most viable male to produce offspring, which she wants usually a man who can defend her and who is uh, you know, more liable to produce, a, 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 let's say, a, a strong child. When it get, get, gets carried to the extreme of killing over a, a, a woman, of course, I think that's another story. But by a lot, look, let's look at the animal kingdom in order to draw some conclusions, TJ. The, 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 um, the moose who will bang heads in order to attract the female. Wherever you look, you're going to see male animals fighting with each other in order to get the female. Isn't that true? Look at the lions. They'll chase, the old male will be chased away eventually by a younger lion. He is then shunned from the tribe. He's no longer considered a viable mate for the women, the girl lions, the, the, the female lions rather. They want the most viable male. And in, the, in our society, the women tend to want a nerdy guy today rather than the macho guy, the smart women do, because they know the nerdy guy will make more money and probably is smart enough to avoid getting killed. Uh-huh. Well, you see, you're making the point that in order to impress a woman, you have to behave like an animal. I mean, <laughs> you got me there, TJ. And by the way, I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> it was a woman who wanted the head of John the Baptist on a silver platter. <laughs> TJ, you set me up pretty good on that one. i got to thank you for it. Uh, I, I don't know any examples in history of benevolent w women leaders, do you? I mean, which women leaders come to mind as, let, as let's say, there'd be no wars if there were women leaders? Who? Who are they thinking about? Let's say there was, an, there was a woman leader of Pakistan. Remember Bhutto? Uh, oh. Her father had been assassinated. Then she became a leader of Pakistan. I mean, wherever you look. Okay, Golda Meir, she was far more macho and had more, more of, you know what, more testosterone than, than Shimon Perez. How about Margaret Thatcher? I mean, I admire those women, but they weren't peaceniks. None of them were. But sometimes you need to have war. Sometimes if you avoid a war, it causes a war. I mean, for example... Absolutely, and sometimes it's better to have a war early on before your enemy becomes too strong and you're going to... Let's, for example, Hugo Chavez in Venezuela. Right now he's a pipsqueak. He could be wiped out overnight. He has no military to speak of. He is, though, in cahoots with Rahmanajad. He's trying to get nuclear weapons. He's, trying to... he's buying submarines. This guy, if he is not stopped, will wind up causing a bigger war, and there'll be more Americans and Venezuelans dying five years from now or ten years from now than they would die right now. So an argument can be made that he should be stopped before he gets bigger. I think that's what you're saying, isn't it? Well, go, go back to World War II. Had Will, William Chamber, Chamberlain had not been appeasing Hitler, and had we just taken him out from the beginning. As a matter of fact, I heard a story that the orders were cut to arrest Hitler, Hitler for violating the previous treaties from World War I. Yes. And, uh, You're 100 percent right. If Hitler had been stopped at Munich, World War II could have been aborted. Tens of millions of people wouldn't have died. It's the same with Ahmadinejad coming to New York. Why should a new Hitler which is who Rahmanajad is spiritually, intellectually, in every way he's saying the same things Hitler did. He wants the nuclear weapons so he can terrorize the world and kill people. He does not want it for peaceful reasons. If that man was stopped now, we could aver avoid a larger war, which is why, thank God George Bush is showing all the signs of doing the right thing, and so is France. I hope they do. I hope they do go ahead with it. I don't know where you, where, where you stand on that one. Do you think we should go and take out uh, Iranian military targets? Oh, definitely. I think we should have done that when we went in uh, uh, with Iraq at the same time. Oh, getting back to women, though, there's a belief system that women mature faster than men, and I don't believe that. I believe women just at an earlier age des desire to have a mate. That does not necessarily equate with the fact that women are mature, because all you have to do is look at how they behave in divorce courts. <laughs> you know, you're the best misogynist I've had on in years, TJ. You, you really sound jaundiced. What happened to you? Uh, well, first of all,
involved some of the most cruelest things have either been done to me either by women or by men who were trying to impress women and I've made those observations very young in life I wasn't even a teenager by that point and uh, I don't worship women uh, I, it's, I'm, not, right. hey, I'm not going to argue with you you're not you know you're not the only man on earth who feels a little uh, intimidated by the gentle sex all I know is this, when the year of the woman came along in Congress around 92, 93, 94, do you remember the speeches we heard that when women were elected, we'd have a more gentler Congress, et cetera? Now, I ask you, when you look at Barbara Boxer, Diane Feinstein, Barbara Mikulski, do you feel that we have a gentler, kinder Congress? Well, we have a cattier Congress. <laughs> well, let's look at Diane Feinstein and her husband, Richard Blum. Would you say that we have a more honest Senate with, Bob, with uh, Diane Feinstein as a U.S. Senator? Um, no, Do you think sir. that if a man got away, if a man did what Diane Feinstein allegedly is doing in terms of steering contracts from committees that she sat on, defense contracts to her, let's say it was a man sitting on a defense committee and he steers contracts to his wife's consulting firm and she's worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Do you think that man would have stayed in office as long as Diane Feinstein has? Yes, sir, as long as he was a catty, effeminized, liberal man. Yes, <laughs> you got me there again. You have a pretty good sense of humor, TJ. How do you survive in Tucson, Arizona? Are you calling from penitentiary? Um, in a way, yes, sir. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I, I didn't mean to... to uh, you, you are in, are you incarcerated because I did invite people from uh, prisons to call last week. No, are you sir. actually calling from... You're not in a lock. You're in a mental hospital or a prison? No, I meant that more figuratively, not literally. I know, I know you did. I was just kidding. But you, you don't, uh, you, you don't, uh, you have any relationships with women at all? Mother, sister, children, daughters? No. Um. Right now, I'm trying to get over a sports injury, so I'm staying away from the dating scene. But uh, to be honest with you, it was my sister who re-injured my sporting injury. <laughs> I so you're saying you were in a cast and she came in and twisted your ankle? Uh, more specifically, I have torn cartilage in my back, and uh, she took me on this back mountain dirt road with a bunch of potholes on it, and I told her that I had a physician's order to stay off of pothole-ridden roads. She lied to me, and her husband drove like about 50 miles an hour over the potholes, and so I have an MRI report that shows that my disc was healing. And oh, my God. You, this is a really serious story here. So you're, you're, uh, you're a little leery of women to begin with. Now, on top of it all, your own blood turns out to be untrustworthy when it comes to this. Let me tell you this story. Well, whenever I'm in bars and I'm meeting women, they're telling me about how rotten the, the ex-boyfriends were and abusive. Uh, I ask them, you know, well, what, what's he doing? And when they kind of shrug their shoulders and say, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll tell them straight up, well, well, if you can't even tell me what the problem is and what he's doing, how do I know that you're not the one that's instigating the bad <laughs> behaviors? <laughs> And, you know, a lot of women are actually turned on by that. You know, I've never had a drink thrown in my face, but the, the bottom line is you can go into <laughs> bars all over the country with a bunch of women who are berating their exes, and every man knows that they're lying, and whatever whatever it is they did that to provoke the, the problem is being left out of the story. But still, men will, uh-huh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh yeah, of course. So you know you have to go, uh-huh, uh-huh, stare them in the eye, too, and, and buy them another drink. See, no, no, nobody tells women the truth that they're, when they're wrong. And so what you have is a so whole society of women who, who really don't have good, um, a good fix. Yeah, well, you want to get a heart attack, tell a woman when she's wrong. Have you met a woman yet who will admit she's wrong in your whole life? Um, I've, I've met some women where you could get away with it more than, so, than other women. And I, I have I, I'm amazed. There are some brilliant intelligent women out there who can never admit they're wrong though there's something about the feline nature of a woman that it's very hard for them to say they were wrong i don't get that i don't understand that part of it if i'm wrong i admit i'm wrong it's not easy for me but i'll have to admit it in order to to, to go forward